It may seem crazy that there's actually monkeys that live in the wild here in Florida, but they do. This whole story started around a month ago when I took a trip down south to the Everglades. I stayed in Fort Lauderdale. That's a biological hotspot and also a very urbanized and industrialized region. This region has completely changed since its original state as the Everglades. They drained the lands, created levees, and built construction surrounding the entire coast of the Atlantic Ocean. With the Industrial Revolution and the boom of human population, mankind has pretty much colonized the entire world with the exception of Antarctica. This all came at a cost. Mankind not only inhabited these regions, they brought things with them. They brought smallpox, influenza, almost completely eradicated the Native American Indians. They brought with them different animals. They brought horses, they brought hogs, they brought the European honeybee, which was actually the biggest success story for the European colonizers. But along with those other things, they brought things that we didn't really want to bring. They brought um, different invasive species, plants, animals, and these were all unintentional guests. The Florida Everglades is surrounded with many invasive species. We had introduced iguanas, tegu lizards, Burmese pythons, and even monkeys at this point. Now, it may seem crazy that there's actually monkeys that live in the wild here in Florida, but they do. Nearby Silver Spring State Park recently shut down two sections because of an increased monkey presence. And this video shows an aggressive troop chasing after a family there last week. Researchers estimate 200 non-native macaques live at the park. We did introduce them to Florida. They were introduced on island with the hopes of keeping them on the island and attracting tourists and tourism to that area. Silver Spring State Park, which is a world-renowned state park here in Florida. But it turns out that the rhesus monkey is actually a very able swimmer and within a few days they had left the island and were on the shores nowhere to be seen and definitely not attracting tourists to that island because the monkeys weren't there anymore within a decade the monkey population boomed there were monkeys in the entire area surrounding all of the banks of the silver river these monkeys became somewhat of a nuisance but it was an uncontrollable nuisance these monkeys have been spotted up to 100 miles away from their point of origin in Silver Spring State Park. Now those are macaques native to Asia, but there's another species of monkey here in Florida as well on Dania Beach. These are actually African vervet monkeys. Monkeys living in a concrete jungle? They're from Africa, but they found a home in between the Fort Lauderdale Airport and Port Everglades. There's some theories on how they got here. What do you think? When I first started the project, I did encounter different answers as to why the monkeys are here. But we really believe the monkeys escaped from the Daniel Chimpanzee Farm, which was opened in the late 1940s by the Roosevelt family, and they were importing primates in for biomedical use. The vervet monkeys are generally highly adaptable. They're generalist primates, so they can survive anywhere they're provided there is a sleeping tree and access to water. They're highly omnivorous, so they will almost eat any types of foods available. We talked about two old world species of monkeys, but there's actually a third species of monkeys found here in Fort Lauderdale. It is a new world species that's found through Central and South America. It is known as the squirrel monkey with a beautiful bright yellow. This is a smaller monkey that is far more nimble in trees, and as soon as it escaped the captivity of the bar owners, it was gone. Now the area in Fort Lauderdale when these species were introduced was far different than it is today. Since the introduction of these monkeys, it has completely become urbanized. All of the natural habitat that Florida once had is almost gone. It is basically one big metropolis. Now these monkeys have found a safe house here at the Bonnet House, and their population climbed in the days when there was good habitat for them. Eventually, their population started to decline, and right now there's just three remaining descendants of the original squirrel monkey population and all three of these descendants are all males. This could potentially be the last known footage of Florida's third monkey tribe. In all three of the situations where monkeys had taken a foothold here in Florida, they were introduced by man for the means of making more money. Now that's monkey business. In most instances when they talk about the nuisance of invasive species, it always has a dollar value attached to it. We're the most destructive creatures to ever walk on the face of the earth. And you don't hear people talking about eradicating us.
I mean, I've never expected to see a monkey right here. What is this? Any idea? Uh, yeah, I mean, why are there monkeys here? They're not native. I don't know why they're here. There's two of them, though. There's two of them.